So here is my flounce, which I have here. As I told you before, I wasn't supposed to show you on how to do this flounce, but I really need to show you guys because there's, there's a big difference from the one, the video I shoot, uh, I am referring, referring you to. So the video which I'm referring you to, it's different from what I have here now. So I have to show you guys this. So how to get this, that's what I want to show you guys now. So what I have inside of my box now. So what I was able to do was to fold my paper in four places. Was to fold it in four places. Then I went on to get, make sure you are folding the mid, the mid part of your paper. That is the full part. And I, I'm trying to manage my paper. But it still come, it still came out because my plants did not be that big, so it still came out. So I, after folding it, I have a this line of from these lines here now. So you can see my four lines, which I read here one, two, three, four. So you can see my in form of a cross chain. So in form of a cross chain, that's what I have there. And inside my inside this box now, I have two, two inches. So what you can find from this box now is two inches all the way. Down to this point is two inches. What I have inside my box here now is two inches. So after I get it, I just want to remove my line so you follow through on the process on how to go about this. So after I get my two inches in this box now, what I did was to start my plants from this part. So since I am starting my plants from this part, I am minus in this part. I want to connect my curve to mix up this shade there. So let me just say this is my straight line which I have here now. My plant is starting up from here and meeting up my number at this point. And what I have for my plants, the size of my plants is going to be 5.5. That is the width of my flounce, 5.5 plus one inch for sewing allowance, which is the joining of this up and the joining of this down one inch, making it 6.5. So that is the 6.5 which I have at this spot here. So I have 6.5 here. So from this line, what I went on to do was to connect it down to this spot. But for my other tutorial, which I showed you now to get your plants, was to connect it from here down to the number which I have and I'm working with them. Was smaller than this so in terms of plans there are there are different ways you can get your plans to achieve what you want so when it comes to plans you, you still need to be you still need to think fast when i say think fast you still need to think of how it will look like after doing everything before you go ahead to do it that is what i'm trying to say about that thinking part it's very important to know how to to visualize your work before going into it so i was able to visualize this and i I, I come across different kind of flowers trying to get what I have before coming to the conclusion here. Yeah, so this is, this tutorial is showing you the process on how to go. So you don't need to be afraid. I am 99, okay, let me say I am 95% sure that what I am going to, what I am doing here now is going to go well. It is going to go well and I am only 5% sure that it is going to go wrong. So there is nothing for me to be afraid of because I already, I have already seen the outcome of what I am making before doing it. So, I just want you to know how to go about this. So, I am bringing this is full, this is full tutorial which I am teaching you now. I, I'm just showing you, point out everything in the process of how to be able to calculate things. So, I hope this tutorial is very interesting to you. Don't forget to support me. I, I really need your support, please. Then don't forget to subscribe and share, like, comment, all those things. You know to push the channel because. Yeah, I'm not the only one moving. If I'm moving, I'm also moving with you guys. So after getting my square here, then from this point there, I connect it to this point. If you have a curve that can go to this point to make your shape more come out better, it, will, it is still good for you. So all that, that is why I used my pen, my pencil first to get my curve before using my, my pen. So I use my pencil first to get my curve before using my pen. So I was able to have a nice curve. But if I go ahead to use my, my pen here, there will be no way for me to erase my line. Because it has an ink that is erasable. 
that is the English, if you didn't say good. So, after getting it like that, so what I have, I'm getting my six inches here. So, all the way to this part, six inches, that was how I was it bit by bit, getting my dotted line, six inches, six, six, sorry, six, six point five. I have 6.5 there, so 6.5. That was how I was dotting my lines bit by bit, bit by bit, until I come to this spot. So when I come to this spot, which I start was, it was this 6.5. I come to this upper spot, upper spot rather, this upper spot, which my I connect like this. I lost my 6.5, 6.5 from this spot again, 6.5, 6.5, 6.5. That was how I was able to come at this point. So connecting this. Or is there no need for me to connect? Let me just. So really, this this work is very interesting. You need to. You need to find any way possible to love what you do for you to be able to, to do it better. You need to find a way to love what you do. As you can see, I really love when I really love stressing my my, my benzula of Langanta. I, re, I really love stressing it. So it gives me that that belief that I can achieve anything. I just I just like it. It's a way I can express myself. In this one, it's the way I can express myself. So after getting it like that. If you look at the picture which we are working with, if you look at the thumb, I don't know if I'll be able to display it here for you to see. You will see that it does not have this point, this pointed starting point at the plants when the plants started. It does not have this starting point, this pointed point. But after cutting my plants, I'm going to have this starting point. But I want to terminate this starting point and I want to, because it started something like this, something smaller like this and the way it starts i'm making use of my phone now let me go back to see the picture before coming back again so i am going ahead to check my uh, my picture so it is very important I, I i i believe i have told you this before it is very important to work with your picture very very important don't work that location me now i am using my phone to to video so most of the time i have my picture in my head before doing my video so like this now, I really need my picture to know on how to place my plants before cutting it. So now I have to know where it should start from. So I have gone ahead now to get my plants where it should start from. So I told you earlier, after getting it looks like this, that from this point to this point, which is 6.5 from here to here, from my circle, which is 6.5, and from this my straight line here again, I connect it down to this point, then all the way from here is 6.5 down to this point here. That's what I have here. So after doing that, in a way to terminate what I have here now, because I don't want a sharp edge at that starting point. But there are, there are some styles like this. That's why I say you need to work with your style. There are some styles like this. This part is included in that style. When you, it is in that case, you don't have to terminate this. You have to work with your style. But for this style, I could not find this at the starting of my plants. I could not find this. So what I went on to do now was to connect my plants from this point down to this spot here. Because, you know, I still need to get my calculation of the length which I want for my plants plus my sewing allowance which I have. So I need to complete on the calculation. So I just went on to connect it from this my two inches spot down to this spot here. So from this my changes, I went on to connect it down to this point, which means my flowers now is now starting from here all the way to this point. That is how my flowers is now starting from. So it is no longer starting from here. So my calculation for my flowers now, I started my calculation from here all the way to this point. So that is very easy. So to calculate your flowers now, all you need to do now is to get your calculation like this because this is the starting point of your plants you are going to put your tape like this to calculate it just like this 
So I just want to show you because this is where it's going. To, this is the part that is going to sit on your main fabric. So you can see. So my calculation now, you can see I started from here. Now I am now coming up to this part. Now like this. Up to the extent where your forms stop, that is where your calculation is going to end. So for me now, my calculation of my main plans now is this part now. So what I went on to do was from this my direct box. I don't know if you can see my like I use my pencil to draw it out. From this my direct center box, I was able to connect it because this is where my plans is stopping. I don't want to just get a mark or a rough but I need to get my my play kind of shape for it to connect properly. So from that point there, I connect it to that point and I take this straight wall. So if you are using a straight ruler, just place it from that point down to this point and roll your straight line. Because this is where my plans is going to end when fixing it from there to the end. This is where it is going to end. So after doing this, what I'm going to do now is to cut out my plants. So the cutting out of my plants now, what I'm going to do, I hope you understand, I, I, I hope I took my time to explain this better for you to understand. So what I'm going to do now is to, let me take this part out. So it is very important for you to cut your plants on your pattern paper. If there is any mistake, you Go ahead to correct it before placing it on your fabric. So it is very advisable. I will advise the cut on your pattern paper first before placing. So you can do your calculation, your manipulation, your conclusion, your discussion, and your uh, interlation on your calculation. English is very simple. So just try to do all those things and to understand and where to do on how to arrive at the right points of your epilepsis parana. So just go ahead and put it like this. My, my, my English is on fire. I hope it does not burn me. I'm just trying to reclass my epilepsis parana. I'm trying to is to remind it in a way that it will be fabulous characters. So after getting my plants like that, so you can see what I have here. So after getting my plants like that, what I'm going to do now is to get my plants connection like this. So this is the connectivity of the plants is lengthening. So I'm trying to delete my plants in the Corrective manner that will bring to the scalotis calanta. So, after getting it like this, I am still going to go to the end of my plan before telling that so you understand what I was trying to say. The thin learning that I was trying to delete, that is the word English. Even me, I don't know what I'm saying, but I know that I'm speaking English. So if you are working with your full plans, as I told you, I am supposed to do this in a separate video. But for the sake of for the sake of this video, I don't want to bother you guys with. I know people might complain that the video is too long. I don't know. I might separate this video, maybe. So you can see my full plans, which I told you I don't want to make use of this part. So I went on, I will go ahead now to cut this out. So this is what I will be left with for my plans. So I have taken this out. What I'm going to be left with. So this part now, this was where I took my measurements. I told you this is the place which is going to sit on my lines which I measure. So this is going to sit at that line which I measure. So you can see what I'm doing here. So this is as simple as ABC. Don't say it is hard because if you say it is hard, it will be hard for you. I have told you before. It is very simple. You have seen the way of getting your calculation. So I try my best to make it easier for you to understand. If in case you want your flans to be fuller, you can continue your 6.5. You can continue your 6.5. You want it to be fuller. That is when your measurement is also going to... Because my measurement stops here. 
because I'm going to fix here at my body. But if you want it to pull out, it's still going to continue. It might stop here, then and try to pleat it if you want it fuller. If it is based on this style which we are seeing now, I did not I do not think they printed it. So we are going to work with what we are seeing here. So if you take a closer look at the starting point for that midpoint, you will see that this flange was being fixed in when sewing. It, it wasn't like where is this my ceramic? Okay, so it wasn't like something like this. So, so you can see if if it were to be fixed like this, how would you be be able to get that um, that flat mount? It won't be possible because you are going to fix here. You are going to place here into sew. And what we saw, what, what you can see on that style there, was something flat like this. It, it, this all went in. So I think your flans will go like this. But if it were to be for this other part, your flans will not be able to pass through to this length. The flans might stop somewhere outside and this part will be free. But if you take a closer look at that picture, you will see that there is crinoline inside this part of the flan. So this was taken out. Hope you understand. So you are going to fix your crinoline. I have a video on how to do that, so I'm not going to stress you on that. I have already taken much of your time. As I told you, you should cherish my work because um, I haven't even eaten this morning. No. This is actually morning. So I want to greet you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. In case you have been watching me, you are watching this video in the night or afternoon. I haven't eaten this morning, but now I am, I am dishing out all my strength to you. So I hope you understand what is going on here. So you can see what I have here. So I'm just, I'll just go ahead now to fix this in. So what I need now is four pieces of this. And to what I'm saying, my flash is going to have a lace. So this is plus my sewing allowance. My flash is going to have a lace. So I am going to I am going to cut four pieces of this because I'm going to line it with my satin fabric. So I have said enough. Let me just go straight to the scrap kalati. So I have gone ahead to do it as I told you. So you still need to go back to that video. To know on how to fix your plans, I don't want to waste your time as I have been telling you. So I just want to go for the go straight to the point. So make sure when when putting your lace on your flans, make sure you indicate your parts to face like this one. It should face like this because you might make mistake to put your lace at this part like this, which is very wrong. So make sure you indicate your satin. The front the part which you want to gum and I have gum stay inside of it, but you give it a, a little bit of thickness. So make sure it is like this and you put your satin so you know that this is going to be like this. So you don't make that error that which I just showed you just now. So what I am going to do now, so at this um, the picture there, it is uh, it is like this the, the difference between the two meetings of the of the flowers it's about 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 inch it's about 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 inch so let me see my 0 0.7 it's about 0 0.7 inch so i'm definitely going to need i'm going to need um okay let me see 0 point i'm going to need 0 0.3 at both sides so 0 0.3 at both ends 0 0.3 going to be like this so this is my midpoint here hope you can see what i'm doing here now is my midpoint here is my midpoint so one of my plans is going to start from this point here the other is going to start from this point here so what i'm going to do now is to pin it down i will go ahead to pin them down like this so let me go ahead and do that and come back to you okay so i have gone ahead to pin it down so you can see what i have here so from my point here i went on to pin it down to this spot to this end here so this is the reason why we are making it like this for it to sit on the sleeve so we are going to pin it in for it to be neat that is the essence of what i am doing here so go ahead to 
do the same for the other part. So what I'm going to do now is to sew this closed. After sewing it, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to come back to show you how to put that or I believe you can know, you know how to put that. You're just going to place your lining from the midpoint sew to the end after you have spun it to sew this. So to the end, so we go ahead to sew it to the end and top stitch my lining, and I'll come back to show you my work next to do. The work in progress. So go ahead to give it a good press. As you can see, I am going ahead to press it. Make sure you sprinkle a lot of water and press it very well. So what you are going to do at this is your armhole part now. As you can see, I use our armhole part because we cut it the same way we did for our main fabric. So it is. Equal. So what you are going to do at this armhole part now, from this part, you are going to sew it down to this part. So you can see our armhole which we have here now. So you are going to sew from this part down to this part. Then this part which we have at this upper part, you are going to use needle and thread to tack it down. Needle and thread to tack it down. Okay, it's like you can still sew it. You can still sew it. It's still possible to sew. But make sure when sewing, you are you are placing this flat. So this should be the way you iron, so that it does not it does not appear outside like this. So make sure it is flat, so that after doing sewing, or sewing it should be like this at least on top part. So you just you just go ahead to sew. So you, after you have sewn this part, I don't think you can sew it around. After you have sewn that part. And you come up here again and sew from here down to this end. So let me just go ahead to do to do it, then I'll come back to you. Okay, work in progress. If you if you can recall when starting my sewing at this my shoulder line, I told you when I get here, I will know how to pass through here. I never had I never had after after um, 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 uh, after imagining how this will look like, I never knew it will go like this, to be sincere, I never knew. So, but when I was sewing it, I told you to leave this rough. Later, I told you to close it. Because all my mind was that there won't be a way for me to pass through here. I will either tack it with thread or use hemming gum to do that. Until now that I came to this spot, that was when I know it, it was possible to sew here. So you can see how beautiful the work looks. Sometimes you might think there is no way, but if you keep going, you find it. If you only if you think fast, as I always say, only if you think fast. So when I got here, when I was showing you on how to join there, that was when I saw this open. That it can be possible to sew it if you not take it. If you notice what I just did before telling you to go and sew there. If you notice, that was when I just noticed that I'd be able to sew here. But after you have sewn here, there is something you are going to do. You are going to close this down so it doesn't come out. So you are going to close this down. I always do this on my off shoulder blouse. I always stitch my lace at this part so it doesn't come out from this part. So you are going to do that. This is incredible. This is incredible. So I am going to stitch that then we have come to a conclusion of this our tutorial. So what you should know is that when making this kind of blouse, you must make sure your round shoulder measurement is is okay. It is balanced. If possible, you can call your client to come and try. You, you might put a little. You might just put fix your zip. Then just wear it on hard. It's, they have cut so that to know if your shoulder is fit on her before you go ahead to do this because if anything goes wrong it won't be easy to lose here but if anything goes wrong you can still lose it because we're the one that sew it so it won't be difficult for you to do that don't be afraid of losing your clothes if it goes wrong just try to make your i believe it will be a little correction if it is tight you might just reduce your zippers allowance and it will fit at times it goes like that at times it is this part that is tight if it is this part that is tight then your work is um this <laughs> your work is a bit is a bit um 
somehow difficult for you. So it is better you have an accurate measurement for your for your round shoulder, so you don't get to that point where things started giving you some kind of issue. So I want to say thank you. I really appreciate you guys for staying till to this length. I hope to I will put after finishing because I'm making a gown, a pencil gown. That's what I'm making now. And I'm still going to do the same thing that I have here at this part. That is what my client requested for. I should do it at this mid part. So I believe I'm, let me see, the boss is very busy. So to put this on my mannequin too is uh, giving me two kind of two my my mannequin does not have this kind of breast. This breast is uh, it's, um, let, me, let me, I don't want to say anything. So I will go ahead to finish it, then snap it to show you the finish work of what we have been making. So please don't forget to share with your friends, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. I think this you should, I think, really, I don't want to say anything more. Thank you.